are two very clear reasons for buying British food. First of all, British food is produced to some of the highest standards in the world. And the second reason is very simply that if we don't support British producers, many British producers will go out of business and Britain as a country as a whole will run the risk of losing its ability to feed its own population, which in troubled times is not very clever. Most countries are are running an economy that exports and imports goods and some countries may produce one thing and other countries produce another. In that process it's very very important to ensure that the most vulnerable producers which are often in the developing world are paid a fair price for what they're producing and can ensure that they have a sustainable livelihood too. The environmental reasons for buying British are the need to cut air miles that are involved in bringing food to our plates. And, um, and obviously common sense says that buying food that's produced in Britain is going to have fewer air miles than if you're buying food from Latin America, Asia, uh, etc. Food's probably a good example of fair trade because there are a lot of products that we just simply could not produce in the UK. So without cocoa farmers, we would not have chocolate. It's as simple as that. If we enjoy chocolate, then we need to ensure that we're protecting the farmers in that process and making sure that they've got a livelihood that's sustainable. Because if it's not sustainable, then they can't obviously afford to produce it. Of course we need to buy some of our foods from overseas. In the case of things like oranges and bananas and coffee, we haven't got the right climate to produce those anyway. So when it comes to those sorts of food, I would absolutely say we should be trading with countries like Africa, but also supporting our own producers. Sustainable agriculture is something that farmers across the world deserve, but producers in the developing countries are often the most vulnerable groups and they are completely dependent on income alone. So the fair trade mark was set up to ensure that the most vulnerable farmers in the world had some level of guarantee of price and, and trading partnerships. I don't think there is a right or wrong on this one. I think there needs to be a balance. I mean, yes, we need to support British producers. We're in very troubled economic times at the moment, but this country isn't ever going to recover unless global trade as a whole recovers. So I think there just needs to be a balance. But first and foremost, if it's in season, buy it in season. If it's produced on your doorstep, support your local producer. If it's not produced on your doorstep, then look Britain-wide and then look overseas. I think every consumer needs to be aware of where their food is coming from and how it is sourced and what kind of deal the farmers are getting within that trading relationship. And fair trade is about understanding what these trading relationships are and acting responsibly as a consumer and understanding your role in the demands that you're putting on businesses to supply goods to you. So whether buying British or buying fair trade or buying organic, these are all important parts of a, of a process but they're not, one is not necessarily better than the other.